Hey guys, my name is Alex and in this video I'll be giving you a crash course on how to set up a paper trading account on TradingView and start trading. Let's get into it. Paper trading. All beginners should practice with fake money before they start spending their hard-earned cash. It's a great way to solidify your trading strategy and hone in on the trading pairs as well as time frames in which you are most successful. The tools in our trading suite will work exactly the same on your paper trading account as they will when it's turned off. Both paper trading and the Chart Prime trading suite will work on the free version of TradingView, so we highly recommend you give this a try. Connect your account. First, open any chart on TradingView. Then, go to the Trading Panel tab at the bottom left hand of your screen. You'll see a bunch of brokers to choose from, but what you want is paper trading with TradingView. Click the Connect button to connect your account. Once you are connected, you'll want to reset your account to reflect a more accurate representation of what you'll be trading with in real life. Even though it feels nice to be balling out of control, it's important to have it reflect your exact budget so you can have a better feel for your risk tolerance and amount of profits you can expect to see when trading. So to do this, click on the paper trading icon on the left side of your screen. Then click on reset paper trading account and enter in the accurate amount you'll be trading with once you start trading with real money. Then click the reset button. Adjust your settings. You'll have to adjust a few settings before I walk you through an actual order. Right click anywhere on the screen in your charts. Click on settings, then trading. These are the settings we recommend for beginners. Set commission fees. Make sure you figure out what the trading fees for limit orders are on your exchange of choice. Click on the paper trading icon, then set commission fees. This is very important to set because if you're making higher frequency, small trades, these fees can eat up your profits fast. So it's good to get to know what your minimum take profit needs to be to at least break even. Keep in mind, market order fees are always higher than limit order fees, so we always recommend to use limit orders when possible. Next, right click anywhere on the screen in your charts. Click on trade, then create new order. When you click on new order, you'll have a new menu appearing on your chart. Click on the three dots on the upper right hand corner of the order form. These are the settings we recommend for beginners to keep things simple. Let's make some trades. Long and short tool. Now that you have your settings all dialed in, here's how we recommend you execute your trades. You'll learn to love the long and short tools on your tool dashboard. They can be found on the left hand side of your screen. They make setting an entry point, stop loss, and take profit a seamless and fast process. It's also a great way to maintain your risk to reward ratio consistent across all of your trades. So for example, if I want to short here because I am seeing some bearish signals, I would click on the short position tool, find my point of entry, and left click. As you can see, it has marked my point of entry for the trade, my stop loss, and my take profit. You can easily drag the tool up or down to make any adjustments to the three price points. Now, right click on the long and short tool, then click create limit order. Here, you will see an order form pop up where you can choose between limit order, market order, or stop order, as well as manually modify a few other settings. A limit order sets an order to be filled at a fixed price point and may not be guaranteed to fill 100%. A market order will be guaranteed to fill 100% by sourcing multiple orders close to your entry price at the best market value possible. This is ideal for quick entries, but you may not get the ideal entry price you were hoping for. Lastly, a stop order will trigger a market order at a specified entry price. Next, click the sell or buy button at the bottom of the order form. Once your limit order has been set, you'll still be able to drag and adjust each point to your liking. There are several other methods to execute trades, but to keep things simple for you beginners out there, we recommend that you start with the long and short tool. Trade information. You can see your current profits or losses on the entry position marker. But if you want more detail on your current trade and past trades, you can check out all of the panels in the paper trading section. This by no means was a super in-depth tutorial, but it should be enough for you to start practicing your trading skills and start your journey to become a better trader. Mm -hmm.